Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hello, Collector Steven here, and welcome back to another Movie Monster Series Vinyl Review. We have the SH Monster Arts Gigan 2004 Great Decisive Battle version. What a complimentary review going up to take a look at the Movie Monster Series Kaiser Ghidorah, the big bad from Godzilla Final Wars. Now, this one, oh man, as you can see on your screen there, yeah, this is going to be one big boy. So whether or not you are a fan of vinyl figures or maybe, just maybe you're looking for a placeholder for a hopeful soon-to-be SH Monster Arts, this one has a lot of attention, especially now with Godzilla 2004 entering in the SH Monster Arts lineup relatively soon. Is this going to be one that you should probably hunt down so this way you at least have a representation of this huge version of Ghidorah? Or should you just maybe wait it out and let this one fade into oblivion? Let's take a look to see whether or not Kaiser Ghidorah is worth adding into your collection. Originally released in 2004, I don't think it was reissued, Kaiser Ghidorah here actually has really neat paint applications. This particular one has unfortunately a couple of scratch marks specifically on the tail, so we can actually see it looks like there was um, not necessarily clear vinyl, but white vinyl as the base coat, at least if that's what the scratches are to uh, reveal appropriately. Um, so it's a little bit of a bummer that this one has scratches, but hey... What lies beneath is much more cool. But realistically speaking, what are we seeing here? We're gonna have a black base coat with some fantastic gold dry brushing to really bring out Ghidorah's details. Now, if you were uh, unaware of this, all three heads have unique sculpted details. The horns are gonna look different for each of them. So this is actually a really nice touch if you didn't happen to know that. Now, two of the heads are gonna have the mouths open, the middle one just a little bit, the left one really, really wide, and the right one entirely closed. Now, in terms of the overall detailing, to get back to that for a minute, I have to say that, you know, obviously with a large canvas, we are going to have the ability to have a lot more details put in there, but honestly, I think this is probably one of the most impressively sculpted movie monster series figures that I have happened to come across, including some of the older Bandai figures before the official introduction of the MMS lineup. Overall, if you're a fan of Kaiser Ghidorah, this thing looks fantastic. The only issue is that, well, unfortunately, as you can see, wing droopage. This is something that's going to come with time. It seems like all the listings that I've seen for these, um, yeah, that's eventually going to happen. And don't worry, we'll cover that a bit more in the next section. But in terms of sculpt and paint, Kaiser Ghidorah here looks fantastic. Here we go. Okay, now here's something a little different. A vinyl review where the articulation section isn't pre-recorded. That's right, because we got a little bit to talk about here. So all of the heads are going to plug in on swivels so you can spin them around. So, so far we are at three points of articulation. Very cool. The bases of all the necks, they are going to swivel as well. And obviously when I say swivel, they can move all the way around. So right now we're at six. I can actually do math for this one. Hooray. So we do have the hips shoulders the cuts down here which would be swivels so we were at six we are now at eight very cool uh what do we have here on the back we do actually have ankle swivels so we are at 10 right now okay very cool the tails they are going to be on swivels so they can spin all the way around very nice all right are we keeping track okay the wings uh, they don't move. However, you can kind of sort of not really see there that they kind of like to fold in and out. They're not even really folding. Uh, it's just the way that they're assembled, at least particularly on this one. Um, so no real movement in the wings, but eh, you know, it is going to be what it is. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points of articulation on this movie monster series. Generally speaking, I define an action figure as having 15 points of articulation, so we are really close. Uh, quite frankly, if you like articulation, then yeah, it's basically just going to kind of be shifting some things here and there, but if you like to move your stuff around, Kaiser Ghidorah can tickle your fancy, or your pickle, whichever you prefer. 
Now, here's going to be a size comparison along with that Gigan 2004 we talked about earlier. And the reason why I did this is I think that there are going to be some folks now with the SH Monster Arts line kind of catching up to Final Wars. Maybe we're not going to get a Kaiser Ghidorah, so this would be a good stand-in. So for those of you who maybe want to get a good feel, hey, I think this one, while not necessarily 100% accurate, will blend in just nicely. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Aftermarket price has not treated this guy fondly, as of recent price has shot up to nearly 150 bucks at import before this ships to you. So do keep that in mind. I don't know what shipping rates are for this guy now, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I wish I could talk about that a bit more. But what I will say is that if you do get lucky, you should be able to find a deal. What a deal is on 150? I'll leave that to you. Just be prepared for scratched paint and warped wings. If you can live with that, then hey, it's a fantastic figure to have. Overall, if you're looking for a Kaiser Ghidorah, regardless of what your situation is, you want a placeholder or you genuinely like Bandai vinyl figures, and that's your thing, this is going to be a great representation. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.